Hi, in this video we're going to do a proof. So we're going to do some proof writing. So let's go ahead and start by writing down what we are going to prove. So prove that if x is a positive real number, so if x is a positive, I love the sound of the pencil, real number, then we have that x plus 1 over x is greater than or equal to 2. So this is what we have to prove. Now, to prove this, what we're going to need to do um, is, I think, work backwards. So what I'm thinking is we're going to start with this and do some scratch work and see if we can find an equivalent algebraic expression and then start from that. So proof. So this is the scratch work. Right, this is not. This is not the proof. So we have x plus 1 over x greater than or equal to 2. If we multiply by x, that's going to give us x squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2x. Right? Multiplying by x, x times x is x squared. x times 1 over x is 1. x times 2 is 2x. Now check this out. If I subtract 2x, I end up with this familiar expression, which is this. Voila which is always true, right? That's always going to be true as long as, um, you know, x is, is a real number, um, right? Because, you know, if, if, if there's some complex stuff going on, for example, if x is equal to 1 um, plus i, right? If x is equal to 1 plus i, then you would get 1 plus i minus 1 squared, which is i squared, which is negative 1. Is that greater than or equal to 0? No, it's false. But we have that x is a real number, right? So stuff like this is not going to happen. OK, so since x is a, well, let's just say, let's, let's start by assuming. Suppose x is a positive real number. Let's start by saying that. Then, because it's a, it's, it's a real number, doesn't have to be positive for this part, it just has to be like we can't have a situation like this. So now we can multiply it out. And then so we're just going to basically work backwards. So I'm just going to uh, add over the 2x. Now check this out. Since x is positive, we can divide by x and we don't have to flip the inequality sign. Also, you know, it's not 0, so we can divide by x. But remember, if it's negative and you divide, you have to reverse the inequality sign, right? But x is positive, so we just get x plus 1 over x greater than or equal to um, 2. And that's exactly what we had to show, right? That completes the proof. And there it is. So that's how you do it. So hopefully um, you've, you've learned some math watching uh, this video. Take care.